Hello Craig and thanks for joining me. Now I want to start by asking you something I've asked of a few people which is how do you define social media? So I guess at the highest level I think social media is any uh, electronic communications channel that allows many to many communication between people who have a common interest in a given topic or subject. Where obviously because healthcare is such an important part of our lives, you would expect to see um, quite a bit at any given time of social media around that particular area of interest. And do you see the US market as being ahead of the curve when it comes to adoption of social media within healthcare? Um, it's my impression that we're probably not that much further ahead um, of other companies, or I'm sorry, countries, in terms of our use of it in um, healthcare and in pharma in particular. Uh, the fact is, is that different markets and cultures around the world uh, will make different uses of social media, and I think that the entire world, at least the, the developed or advanced markets, um, are very much in a pioneering stage in terms of how we use and think about the use of social media although that pioneering looks different from market to market. Where do you think social media best fits in the conversation then between healthcare providers, between pharma and indeed the patients? I think there are a few areas. One I think is in the area of education um, as a lot of different players in healthcare work to educate uh, physicians and patients about how to approach diseases in healthcare. Pharma certainly has a unique role in that regard, particularly around its knowledge with medications. And I think that um, there's a huge role for us in becoming better and better at how we assist in this educational process. The other, I think, is in the area of um, advocacy, uh, where we have opportunities to partner um, with various patient groups um, in order to, again, advance education, as well as to advocate um, with various agencies within the society and the government in order to get the right level of um, awareness um, and support and attention and action around different disease states. And then the third area I would say would be related to the whole topic of um, patient compliance and adherence. I think that increasingly we're understanding that this is an area where there is a lot of opportunity for improvement, not only in terms of how we proact and assist, um, but a lot of our healthcare costs and other issues related to diseases can be improved if only we could get to a place where we as patients were more compliant and adherent um, and took better care of ourselves. And so I think that there is indeed an opportunity for to pharma to um, continue to insert itself in that particular area as a way of assisting um, the whole healthcare ecosystem. And from a pharma company perspective, how should social media integrate with existing medical information campaigns, disease and brand awareness initiatives? When you ask the question of how I think pharma should be using social media as an extension of um, the marketing that we've been traditionally doing, I think that um, we need to be looking at social media as um, an alternative channel or an add-on channel, if you will, to the extent that it's new, that allows us to just continue to achieve the various objectives around awareness, uh, education, um, distributing our product information, and providing the various services um, that we offer as pharmaceutical companies. Um, to the customers that we find in those particular communities and in those spaces. Um, I guess in some way of, of thinking about it, you would say that the more things change, the more they stay the same. While we might have a new channel, what we need to do in terms of um, assisting and providing solutions to our customers has not changed. And so I see social media as just another place where our customers happen to be congregating, um, and for that reason, we need to be there engaging with them and um, being willing to meet their needs. I know that there's a, a lot of discussion uh, within the industry about the idea that unless you're able to engage in two-way discussion in social media, you're not really doing social media. And I take issue with that particular approach. 
um, the way I see it, there are at least two ways of going about social media. One is around the idea of being able to dialogue through post and comment. The other, though, is just around um, sharing. And so I think that the pharmaceutical industry, in the absence of more precise guidance from regulatory agencies, has an opportunity to um, produce information and to put it into communities that assist the education, um, the drug and disease awareness, as well as the complete patient compliance adherence processes that um, are so compelling that when our customers pick up these materials, even though we might not be able to engage in a back and forth dialogue with them, um, it is so compelling that they are willing and interested in passing that helpful information on to um, their own colleagues and communities. And I think that in that, we will be providing a great service um, and a benefit to the healthcare ecosystem. What examples do you see within pharma and healthcare right now that represent the best examples of innovation and perhaps the best use of the online space and social media?